Welcome back to Awful Movie Reviews. Who the heck are you? Equinox is a movie about college kids going into the countryside, discovering an old book which summons up frightening demons. But wait a second, I've seen this before. This is Evil Dead! Very knowledgeable. Very scientific. I'm not joking, Equinox resembles Evil Dead in quite a few ways. In fact, I had never heard of this movie before. While I was doing some reading up on it, a lot of people were even calling this the film that probably inspired Sam Raimi to make his series of horror films. And while that could be very true, Equinox is a really really bad movie on its own, which is why I'm not even going to give it credit for inspiring the Evil Dead. Huh, that'll teach him. It's pretty heavy stuff. But just before we get going, if there's a bad movie you'd like me to review, just leave me a comment down below. And don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to never miss out on another bad movie review every Friday and cult horror movie review every Tuesday. Okay, be right there. The production cost a total of between $6,500 and $8,000. It was paid for by three friends that were repurposing their college funds, and man oh man does it show. This started out being a short student film, and what it ends up feeling like is still a student film but in feature length. So make up your mind. So yes, four college kids head up to the mountains, in fact not far from good old Bronson Canyon. One of the characters received a call from his geology professor telling him to meet at his house. They go over there only to find the place in complete shambles, and the doctor is nowhere to be found. That kind of stuff is out of my league. But they get their hands on an ancient, mysterious book of evil that conjures up a bunch of weird looking creatures. I suppose they're demons, but I'm really not sure. We have a giant demon-like ape, we have some sort of a giant prehistoric looking smurf, and of course, the devil himself, who takes the shape of a ranger most of the time. The characters are extremely shallow and meaningless, and the acting is stale as hell. It's like biting into a piece of stale and dry bread that's been sitting on the counter for 10 10 days. It's really in your face, no matter how much you try, you just can't avoid how amateurish it is. Well, what are we gonna do now? For whatever reason, some people praised the stop motion effects. I think they look like ass. They look clunky and made me feel like if I was watching a cartoon. I can't believe that even Ray Harryhausen thought this was good. He must have felt sorry for the effects department. How could he ever find this to be amazing? Nutty stuff. The kind of thing that happens to people's minds sometimes. The shot where one of the guys attacks the giant demon ape with a spear was the worst looking effect in my opinion. Oh mama. Sometimes we can see the strings on the devil when he flaps his wings, and that scene in the end where the cemetery burns down really looked bad as well. Basically, what separates Equinox from the Evil Dead are a lot of things. It doesn't have the insane amount of gore, it doesn't have the memorable practical makeup effects, no Bruce Campbell in the lead, no bone chilling atmosphere, no fantasy fancy looking necronomicon, no good camera work, no cabin in the woods setting, it's got nothing going for it. But to my big surprise, it features brief voice acting by the one and only Forrest J. Ackerman, the famed literary agent and the creator of science fiction fandom. I don't know how in the world they were able to get his voice on there, that's a real head scratcher. On a final note, just watch the Evil Dead films. What an awful movie!